low tie Dallas fans. We are here with a chef superstar, Stephen, Stephen Fowles. We actually, this was impromptu. I came here for lunch today and he was nice enough to come out and talk to me. And he actually just got back from Cuba. Um, and I was asking him about that and we thought we'd share it with you guys. And now chef, we do have some people that are joining us. So if any of you have questions for chef, um, please ask, cause I'm sure he'd love to answer, huh chef? Hi. Hi, so tell us uh, what took you to Cuba? Um, well, I just had an opportunity. A friend of mine has a high-end travel company. He said, we're taking groups, groups, groups to Cuba. Would you mind leading a culinary expedition? I said, oh, twist my arm. Right. <laughs> so I brought 18 of my uh, kind of foodies, my groupies that like to travel with me. And it was phenomenal. I am on fire with uh, that whole culture. It was just staggering how wonderful it was. Did you pick up some um, cooking techniques maybe that you want to bring back to Texas from Cuba? You know, I don't know that there are any cooking techniques. I think it was just a feeling of spirit. It was the spirit of Cuba. Um, you know, I, I was a little uh, surprised by the quality of the food. I mean, the cooking and the techniques and the, the hot, you know, they're really interested in some modern techniques and uh, 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 really sort of some of the sort of the modern uh, chemicals and, 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 and ingredients that we're using in gastronomy. And that's what they were really interested in, which was really surprising. I thought it'd be really old school, just grilled black beans, plantains, but they're really interested in Mediterranean and places, uh, you know, cuisines from around the world. Wow, that's amazing. So how long were you there for? Uh, for one week. Oh, that's awesome. So um, is there anything that you're going to try and cook here for anyone from Cuba? Well, uh, you know, I was already doing, I have a, a lot of interest in all things Latin anyway. I mean, I've traveled Mexico for all my life and been to every country in South America at least once and and so Cuba was kind of the last holdout you know I've been all over the Caribbean and so I love those flavors anyway so we're doing um, uh, a dinner uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday of special menu pre Thanksgiving that will be uh, South American Thanksgiving oh, nice. so we're doing turkey a la brasa which is from Peru but we're doing uh, Cuban spiced apple dumplings that are going with a butternut squash bisque <clears throat> so I'm, I'm, it, it'll it'll make its way into the menu. Oh my, that sounds really good. So, um, okay, we have, we have a bunch of people liking it. Let's see if anybody's going to ask you questions. So, um, for Thanksgiving, so what do you cook for your home for Thanksgiving? Um, or do you get to do you have to work Thanksgiving? No, I try and try to go to family or somewhere where I don't have to cook. But if I do, very traditional, you know, turkey. Uh, turkey, blue corn, chorizo stuffing. Uh, uh. Just, you know, Thanksgiving is, is the day, I think, for chefs. I mean, it's really, you know, it's, uh, for American chefs because it's just American, most American of all holidays. And great food and uh, just, you know, keep to the basics. Don't try to do anything too, too fancy, you know. That's right. It's about spending time with family. Yeah. Um, well, anything else that you'd like to tell our fans? Now, once this is done, we'll mm -hmm. um, upload it, mm -hmm. right? So um, anyone who wants to hear what you have to say will be able to see it on our website, Good. as well as on YouTube and Twitter and everywhere else. So is there anything that you'd like to tell the people of Dallas about the Dallas food scene, your restaurants, just anything at all? Um, well, it's just an exciting time to be in Dallas. You know, it's uh, I've been around a long time, obviously, and uh, I've seen uh, I've seen uh, our, our cuisine kind of expand and, and decrease, and and so it's it's really on an uptick right now. I think we're uh, really become going to finally become one of those uh, really strong second tier cities, and and hopefully with the next two, ten years become the top tier. I don't think we're ever going to be New York, LA, San Francisco, or Chicago, but we're going to be really close. You know, Chef, I'm going to have to disagree with you. I think we can be New York, LA, for sure, Chicago, and San Francisco. I mean, right. Pretty great restaurants, though. I mean, I mean I, I, I'm being realistic. I, I know the food scene, and, and I, I, I think we can be there in 10 years, but we, we just, those are pretty powerful cities. They are powerful Lots cities. Lots of three-star Michelin restaurants. We Absolutely. don't have that. We don't even have the Michelin guy here, so... Oh, well, it sounds like we need to bring the Michelin guy yeah. here. How does that work? Uh, when, when, the, when the restaurants are strong and good enough, the Michelin will be here. Okay, so we got to make sure we do that. That's exactly well, right. And, and I do see that we are attracting a lot more talent to Dallas because there seems to be a lot more diversity as well, right? Absolutely. So as Absolutely. other chefs see it, then they'll be coming around. Mm -hmm. So, well, we really do appreciate your time, and thank you for talking to us on such short notice. 
And uh, you're going to be seeing more of Chef, right? So Absolutely. We'll, look, we'll look forward to it. Thank you all so much for joining, and we will talk to you again soon. Have a good day, folks.